Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the quick review and look at the latest build of Windows 10 Fall Creators Update which is build 16.2.4.1 released for Fast Ring Insiders yesterday and uh, boy what an experience first of all still extremely long process of install so if you look at your screen where it initializes the install and everything um, of course you you can work and use your PC if it's doing that which means technically the install process can you know go on while you're doing other things but still if, if you take that into account you look at that screen plus the install of the insider build what happens is you get a very very long install um, typically here three hours and a half to four hours total uh, you know the part where it says upgrading windows is fast you know it's like a, a 30 minute process it's that part where it initializes and tries to install stuff that's extremely long now I did have tons of issues with the home machine I still have tons of issues with the Windows 10 home um, and Microsoft Edge doesn't work I had to restart manually two times during the install because it just hangs in there but it did go through so I'm wondering if I should not use the latest um, image of uh, 16232 in order to maybe do a clean install maybe it's required maybe something's wrong uh, on the pro machine the one you have here it seems to work quite well except for a few things that you know happened in other builds also and that you guys have seen like you know the start menu is totally transparent instead of being the usual look even the uh, feedback hub has that glitch uh, but that's something that happened in the past few builds also uh, it's very very weird so what's new in this build? What is interesting in this build? Well, uh, first on the lock screen, you can now recover your password or your PIN as long as you're using a Microsoft account or if you are actually uh, using an Azure AD Premium. Uh, this is a great capability that actually will let you in case of um, a problem logging in, um, you know, create a, a, a password or a PIN that will let you go in and uh, recover your account from the lock screen. They've refined a little bit the acrylic look. The acrylic look and the Fluent design is that semi-transparent like um, feature. It was a little grainy um, when you actually used um, you know uh, more than 100% of um, screen size zooming. Uh, what happened is it looked very grainy and very very, very weird. So they fixed that. They also fixed the fact that some people were finding that the transparencies were not necessarily that good all the time. So a few things like that that are fixed um, in the uh, Fluent design. Some gaming improvements. Xbox Live in-game experience um, was not working well. Now it does. Fixed also in issues where the game bar would crash. So that is fixed also. The task manager has two little improvements that are uh, worth mentioning. Now I don't have a, a compatible GPU to show you but it now actually um, will separate the GPU in four different uh, options. One for video processing, video decoding, um, one called copy and the other one for 3D performance. So it actually gives you four uh, little panels that um, are visible if you have a compatible GPU. In uh, the process tab they've made it easier to uh, target and locate the Microsoft Edge um, processes and uh, make it easier to find out where they are and how to um, to actually use them so basically it's much easier uh, in, in labeling and easier to find so uh, basically making it better especially when you know uh, you wanted to know the different options and the different ways that things are working. So here you have really separated processes that were not there before when you wanted to see the process from Microsoft Edge. Tons of re, um, improvements and, and, and workarounds. And I like uh, Paul Tarot's comment and his uh, article saying, well, for the zero people that have this option, and that's pretty much the case. Uh, all sorts of you know fixes and mixed reality stuff including stability of the mixed reality experience, um, error codes that would pop him up, popping up that are fixed, 
also um, supported added support for USB controlled all sorts of you know glasses 3D glasses um, and, and, and mixed reality headsets of all sorts including adding all sorts of mixed reality stuff that will interact with apps like Facebook for example the delivery optimization of course that we've seen in the past uh, I've shown you a little you know option so when you go into your settings you go into the Windows update you can go into advanced options and then delivery optimization and at the bottom there's advanced options where you see how much data you can actually uh, give out and how much power and how much of the um, you know bandwidth background bandwidth you want to give Windows update to make sure it doesn't slow down for example your internet connection if you do something else a new little panel that's interesting here is activity monitor which will tell you in the past month how much data in and out from Microsoft uh, from the internet local network in the updates which is very interesting so um, all of that is now showing so you'll know exactly how much your Windows updates are taking data in a month which is a very very welcome uh, information because a lot of people have limited bandwidths and want to know and monitor this for sure <clears throat> apart from that a uh, little thing that is um, the added Ubuntu bash command line available now in the Windows Store for sure uh, they have fixed a ton of little issues that people were having including that battery notification that didn't work well there are known issues in here so uh, remember that um, the mail app might not work with IMAP email accounts some um, network uh, settings reset to zero if you have a display higher than 100% the output might not look right and uh, all sorts of little things like that windows that fit in their security center might have some issues they fixed a bug where it didn't work well I had that actually on the home machine but there are some other issues also available there so what about you if you've updated to this build did it go well did it update well like I said my home machine is a mess uh, Microsoft Edge not working all sorts of weird things including disk activity that's always hundred percent for some reason so I might actually uh, do a uh, a clean install with build 16.232 and then upgrade again here and uh, I'll keep you guys updated with um, how it works if it did work well and on my pro machine here except for the transparency stuff that is very bizarre like you know it's totally transparent in the start menu from time to time not always if I restart it comes back to normal but that's an issue that's been there also for the past uh, few builds and I know that some of you guys have had it so uh, why not share your own experience of how it went and uh, what do you think of the latest um, features? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.